Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Sly 2, or known as the Sly Collection on PS3. But this is Sly 2, Band of Thieves. So, uh, in this episode, we're starting the, the second game in the collection, which is amazing. So let's start new game, shall we? Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly. I'm the wizard, and you're Sitting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Ah, welcome to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. A interesting different start compared to Sly, to compared to Sly 1 at least. But basically we're in the museum rigging to, to get the clockwork parts and stuff like that. So anyway, we go up here. And we meet Bentley over here by this elevator, which, I mean, what's interesting is that like, there's a definitely a different type of game of light. Uh, the controls are a little different, like I can run with L, with the R1 button, no, I almost said L1, R1 button, I can run instead of the binocular. Bunging Tong is the, is the right click on the stick and let, and the, yeah, anything, so it's like controls are a little different. Um, but basically, like, basically jump on this thing, go on top of this skeleton dinosaur thing. Like, well, actually, what is it? I don't even know what that even is. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Can we break it? Yeah. Yes, we can. But we don't get any clues out of it, sadly. Which we do need a lot of clues. I mean, a lot of keys. I mean, a lot of, sorry, a lot of coins. Okay. I splice the wires. Ouch! Hold on. There it is. Bentley of the Brains. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say coins. <laughs> oh, I don't I I can't break anything here. But Bentley trying to break in, doing his hacking skills. Imagine if there was a mini hacking game right here. I mean it doesn't make sense to have it at the big beginning of the second game, but you know. Yep, he's working on to get past through the security. Resto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, also speaking of which... There's the Panda King right there. Yeah, and also Sir Wally. I don't know, the Sir Wally and Panda. I don't know who this guy is on the left. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you got, like, different, uh, like, different Easter eggs and stuff like that. Uh, right here, I think, I think that's, like, supposed to be, like, the Contessa's area. It kind of sort of looks like it a little bit. But, yeah, it kind of has, there's another Panda King over there. Like, you can see just all the different Easter eggs of all the, from the, you know, the, even from the first game. What is this? Look at Look at Mugshot. Look at Mugshot. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I love how all the different Easter eggs, all the paintings and stuff, which is pretty great. What else there is? There is there any like is there Miss Oh there's Miss Ruby! Wait, is that Miss Ruby? No, it doesn't look like it sorta of does, sorta of doesn't. That's weird. Huh. Makes me wonder if that's actually Miss Ruby or not. But yeah, they're just the different Easter eggs to the to to the to the, to the different members of the Phoenix 5 from the first game, which is pretty cool how they did that. And you see there's a lot of repetitive paintings too, so, you know. Any new ones with any good? I'll just write off stuff. Come on, just try to get all these coins so I don't have to be- Ah, cutscene. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory 
memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Man, I kind of missed the coins there because I was trying to get the coins. Because we definitely need coins in this game to, get, to collect everything. But yeah, we're just sneaking on top of, of ropes, on top of ropes. Like, like we above, we above the streets and stuff. But yeah, like, look at this. What does that, what does it say? Hotel? Yep, it does. Hotel. Someone's sleeping there. Wait, imagine, imagine seeing a raccoon sneak across in your window, in your hotel room. That'd be pretty great. Hey, it's my friend! I think, it looks like it's even a cobra. <laughs> Based on the rattle right there, that's funny. Or, or, or what's a wild snake, not Koba, probably. Get all these coins before Bert Murray slaps, slaps down here. There he comes. There's the Murray, the Bron. Greetings, citizen. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe. Only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. God, he's so different in this game, Murray is. Like, oh my god. Any other? Any other? Ah, there's some other artwork. So uh, here. Okay. All clear. Well, oh, look at him. Look. Uh, ah, camera. Camera. There's Murray struggling. Like, oh my god, look how struggle he is. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I'm around this game. Like, so this is a let's play, not really a walkthrough. But, you know. Even though, like, Tangany did 100% in, in, uh, Sly, in Sly 1. So, you know, there's that. So, Tangany was a walkthrough of Sly 1, if you really think about it. Ah, oh, cutscene. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not. I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Man, yeah, yep. But basically, basically what we're doing is we're trying to collect the clockwork parts, which are, you know... I guess clockwork f from like you know other. I mean, they will look like oh, these guards down there. What are they? Pigs? Yeah, they're fat pigs. Well, not fat pigs, I guess. They're just pigs. Eh, I mean, they're pigs, so they're fat anyway. So you know. But yeah, like it's only if we can like tell what what uh no, we can't tell what's in there. But what does that say? Museum of natural. Ooh, it's a museum of natural history. Break into. Of course it is. <laughs> of course, Sly does something like that. Or twice to. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything yet. Really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Kamlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. A claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! And this is our first chase from 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 Foxy. I mean, Kamlita. Fox. <laughs> That'd be goofy. Can we break stuff down here? Let's break some stuff down here. Oh, no. Come on. Get coins. Can we get coins? No, we can't. There's Murray. Man, I guess there's just one. Oh yeah? But base Ooh, we got coins, we got coins! There you go. <laughs> we got more coins? Yeah! <laughs> oh poor Murray! Murray got shot by Kamlita! <laughs> just trying to get all these coins. 
Ah! <laughs> this is interesting play through a lot. Just click through all the coins. God, I can. I need to turn that sound volume pretty loud. Oh boy. Mike, to just turn the volume on my computer down, so. Woo! Still missing me, though. I love how he hit Murray, but not me yet. Ooh, boy. Ooh, we got a trophy. I'm clicking all the coins. Oh, you can see we get up more than 100, 100 by the way. Poor Murray. Jeez, Murray just keeps getting hit by, uh... Oh, I love how there was, like, a uh, Easter egg to that guard in the future. Primarily, it's funny I haven't got hit yet. <laughs> he fair, Murray's a big shot, so, you know, it makes sense. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Up at the rendezvous. Aww. Stop, thief. Can we go back here and get? Oh no, I thought we could get some of those coins. I guess not. Oh, I can't break that. Oh, I. Yeah, like I said she still has terrible aim. Her aim is better. Basically, her aim is better, and she has a different voice. Basically. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty great. <laughs> no, no, I'm not holding still, Kamleda. I'm not for you. So misses me. Woo! I'm more of the if that can dodge you. Oh! Nope, I'm not a thief. I'm collecting a bunch of coins. Woo! <laughs> Man, this, this, this can I can do this for hours. Are we in Egypt? Because the pyramid is in the background. I'm confused because they said the Natural History Museum. So I thought, no, I guess we're in Egypt. I mean, mixed with the pyramids in the background. Interesting. I haven't got hit by Kamuru yet. Yeah, now here we can fuck that scene. Come on. There you go. Fairy for Fairy Fox. Nice shot. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. That Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue, or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper Clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Slide 2. Band of Thieves. Oh yeah, that's a pretty interesting intro, why? But you know what that means? We're start the, the next area in the game. Also, this is a saving icon. Actually, I did just turn down the volume on my computer so I can not hear the cutscenes out loud. Hopefully, it doesn't echoing when I'm actually derp, when I actually go to edit. <laughs> so, anyway, let's start episode one, shall we, of the game.
so, known as the Black Chateau. So I'll be quiet once again. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted, and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in... The Black Chateau. Wah. Wow. Man, Dimitri is such a great villain. villain, Or just a great character. He's not even a great villain, he's just a great character, man. I'm like, oh my god, he's so cool. And this is the first area, Paris. Yep, first area is Paris. And where it's actually Sly's hometown, I guess it would be, or at least you know where he grew up with his, you know, Bentley and Murray. At least <laughs> I don't know where uh, Sly's dad's from or whatever, but you know. Also, this is a little different than the first game. This game had uh, different hub different hub worlds where you can just do different missions. It also has a safe house. You also can go to a thing called StateNet where you can like buy gadgets and stuff like that. Um, they do get bigger over time as you play through the game. It costs more. Obviously, you can't buy anything, but some some of these are. The Fist of Flame is pretty great though. Like, I think of all these, the Fist of Flame is the best of these three. But basically, you lock three three ones in each area. Right now, we only can play a Sly because usually like the first mission we only can play a Sly. In each area, and then after like the first or second mission, a few missions we can unlock the other characters. But anyway, let's actually start the first mission in the in episode one. I tell you, Bentley, it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job. Hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. What I think I'm gonna do with the clues is gonna have a separate video for the clues. I might not count. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm thinking I might count as a, like I'm thinking I'm gonna collect them in if one up. Click the L3 button. You know, Bentley. Bentley! I know! Basically, I just did that smack down my guard. But basically, I was gonna say, I'm gonna do the clues in, the, in like its own video for each area, so... I think I'll have a goldie. I want to see if I can get a gold pickpocket someone. So I'm going to show you guys toward the... We're going to show you... Ah! Uh, I mean... Oh no, that guy doesn't have any... Um, I'm looking. Eh. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it in the next episode. I mean, I can still pickpocket, but like... I mean, this guy doesn't have anything. So, you know, there's that. Let's actually start the mission now. communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. 
Yep, basically jump. Ooh, there's a guy right there. Now I can't wait till we get the pair glide horn. Let's see if this guy has any. No, he doesn't. God, why doesn't you guys have anything yet? Jeez. But like, I love that it's a new feature in this game where we can pick pocket glides. It's pretty great. Like, there's a lot of stuff that this game added or changed around. <laughs> like, and it's definitely different than other games. Well, then the first game at least. Second one's over this way. That guy doesn't have any. Ooh, I'm gonna miss. I need to miss these clues. So I'm trying to get them. I'm gonna try to get them, you know, in one video. At its own video, so which I mean, I saw a Let's Play of Pussy did that in that way. But anyway, I'm actually gonna, I'm not gonna actually cut it out where uh, if I if hold on, I'll tell you I have to do this. Oh, he did. But what I'm gonna say is like I'm gonna do like clues like in. <sighs> Bentley, I know. Yeah, what I was gonna say is Bentley, shut up. But uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna do uh, you know, the clues all included in one separate video. There's a YouTuber I watched that had has been doing the slide trilogy lately as well. But he does it where he has like just cuts. Every time he gets a clue and stuff, like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I'm actually gonna show him for one video and not actually cut. It'd be nice to actually show where they're actually at. <laughs> Even though if it takes, like, a long time to find some of them. There's the first mission, though. And there's the, the job completed. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. Get inside. You'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. But basically, basically, this is actually going to be the end of the episode. Um, we do, we do that, we do break, breaking and entering in the next episode. By the way, I've been Green Covers Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Sly 2 Bad Thieves, part of the Sly Cooper collection on the PS3. But anyway, I've been Green Cobra's Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Wah! I'm out.